Hey YouTube. <coughs> so I've got this 2006 Chevy truck that has 4,000 miles on it, and um, I take good care of my stuff. And uh, I have another one over here as well. This one's a red one. You've seen that in my videos, I guess. Anyway. <coughs> um, I, all I do is wax the truck and I take it once a year to get it inspected and to uh, and I keep insurance on the, all the trucks just in case I need something in an emergency situation and I noticed on this truck even though I don't drive the darn thing that the bumper started to rust here on the corner on the opposite side and on here and I thought that maybe it was from underneath, you know, rusting through. And here, the underside's not rusted, but the metal was literally rusting underneath the paint, even though there was nothing really getting on it. So, God knows what kind of steel they're using for this stuff. But anyway, <coughs> what I wanted to show you was, I took some 320 sandpaper, and not just anything. I'm going to tell you, you know, I don't usually plug stuff, but 3M makes some good stuff. You gotta, I mean, I gotta admit, their tape is good, their, uh, you know, sandpaper is fantastic. There's just something about it that's better than stuff you can buy anyplace else or any other brand. So, you can get it at Walmart and it works good. So anyway, I sanded this down with 320. The places that were rusted, I shined them up and I put, um, on the corner there, I put some uh, POR15 which you know I'm a big proponent of that. I don't even know if I, where I put that. Oh, uh, here. I have this little can of POR15 and I just took a brush, like an artist brush that's made out of some nice fine hair and I just put that on the corners of the both sides. So after I left that dry a couple of days then I took and I um, sanded the whole bumper off with 320 which I showed you there. Painted did 320 and then I took um, I was looking for some different kinds of paint to put on the bumper without having to mix paint because that, it's just such a small job. So on my rack here of goodies I have this uh, Rust-Oleum Primer self etching uh, primer which I actually like this stuff it comes out sort of like a OG green, army green, whatever. But it adheres well and it seems to, uh, it lights all kinds of different bases of paint. So I primed the bumper then, I primed the whole bumper with this stuff, okay? And I think it tells you on the back here that it dries in an hour or whatever, however long it takes. Yeah, top coat in 30 minutes. So. <clears throat> I painted this this morning and I went and I walked the dog and stuff and when I came back um, I didn't even sand it off I don't think I needed to sand it off I, it looked pretty good to me and I just took and put this stuff which I picked this up at Tractor Supply yesterday thinking I liked the gray the gray was similar to the color of the original bumper I didn't know it was going to have as much uh, uh, metallic in it. It's quite metallic-y. This stuff's actually made for wheels. And I figured, well, if it's going to stand up to a wheel stress, you know, because of the moisture and rain and snow and all that's going to hit a wheel, then maybe it, it should really be able to hold up pretty well on the uh, on the bumper. So what I did was, and I, I masked it off with some paper, newspaper, and I have big rolls of uh, uh, masking paper, but you know, it's there's so many turns, dips, and dives on this thing, it was just easier to, to put sit here and put this newspaper on. So I put the newspaper on to protect the rest of the truck, and then I sprayed that wheel um, shop, or wheel, high performance wheel paint, again from rust -Oleum, on the bumper and it came out pretty good but before I did that I, t I had a piece of aluminum it's really nice today I had a piece of aluminum and I uh, you can see just how 
it came out pretty nice it's very smooth especially after you put the clear coat on so I just tried it to see if the paints were compatible and they are so what I'm going to do here now next I have to wait a half an hour since I painted that and it covered pretty good with about three coats and you got to put light coats on because it'll run real quick on you like this, this stuff is nice it seems to be a good paint but it runs quick so you want to put very light coats on and then a heavy coat towards the end a 10 minute interval so then what I'm going to do it recommends in the, on the Rust-Oleum can it recommends that you use a clear coat <coughs> and I didn't read that when I bought it the other day I was in a hurry so I just looked through again my pile of goodies and I found that I had some about a half a can of Duplicolor and this is protective clear coat finish so I'm going to use this on the bumper since the truck really doesn't go out it'll give it a, a lot of time to get good and hard before it gets any use so I'm going to use this stuff to color that to cover that over and I believe it's a quick inexpensive fix that will you know keep the truck so that its value isn't uh, depleting while it's sitting here I mean I hate that you know you spend good money on this stuff and I bought this truck brand new you spend good money on this stuff and then you gotta fight the rust on it so I was crawling underneath the truck the other day too to look at it and there is some places it's not bad don't get me wrong it's you know there's only so many miles on this truck but nonetheless I wish I would have undercoated it really heavy with something better but um, anyway the truck is in fantastic shape and I just wanted to clean it up a little bit because every time I walked in the garage door here I saw this little rust spot on the corner of the bumper and it was driving me out of my mind I couldn't freaking stand it any longer so that's what I'm doing this morning and uh, also been working in my greenhouse but that's not for us auto guys to really consider right um, the next step I want to do after I clear coat this is uh, I got to take the masking tape off and stuff and and I'll like I say I'll just see this truck sit so that's where I am at the moment I got so many projects going on I have a freaking list of them I don't even know how I was able to work in my younger days and get anything done because right now I can't get caught up and I don't go anywhere but here to do work so anyway have a good one guys um, all Rust-Oleum, Rust-Oleum primer, self-etching primer Rust-Oleum wheel paint and Duplicolor and I think Rust-Oleum does make a clear coat but I got this here Duplicolor perfect match clear coat that I'm going to put over top of this so that's it bye